What is going on everybody man? King Recon here to read the latest installment in the Wano Awesome Sauce of the best selling manga in history man. Nearly the second best selling comic of all time. We're here to read the one, the only, One Piece man. So without further ado this week, yo, it was so hot outside today man while I was working. It, it sucked all of the energy that I had, man. I feel like I'm Dio Brando out here, man. I went out into the sunlight and I was decimated. You feel me? But I don't care who you are, man. When it's really, really, really hot outside, it drains. You feel me? It drains, man. So, we're here while I'm still recovering. I was like, man, I need some energy in my life. And what better energy than the energy of the best-selling manga in history, man. Especially after last week's cliffhanger with my boy Marco swooping in, man. Phoenix form and all, like he was Moltres in Pokemon. Just, God, he was ready to go up in the next form where. So let's see the continuation to that right here. Scoundrel meets Scoundrel, chapter 982. Oh, by the way, I was told yesterday that the One Piece anime is officially coming back. I believe it's June 28th. I'm not able to confirm this information because I didn't want to get spoiled on this chapter, but I believe that, I mean, of course I believe the individual that told me, but I haven't been able to confirm like the source. I don't know where it came from. I don't know if it came from Toei, from Crunchyroll, I'm not sure. But I know that I was told that it's coming back on June 28th. And so I'm looking forward to getting some more information on that after after uh, after I finish reading the chapter, and it's safe to go on. And right here we see Gotti and and Capone with Shifone and Lola, and look at my boy Pez right here, man. You know Pez is is still here trying to climb. The man's playing Super Mario Bros. on uh, on, on on Gang Gang BG's um, on freaking Capone's uh, shirt right here. He's playing Mario on there. Gang BG's is all my family run away from the Navy, Volume Twenty Eight. Yo, respect to Gotti though, man. Man said, yo, you ain't walking. I got you. I'm gonna carry you all the way. And Capone's being carried the entire way through. You know, it's just way. Okay. Okay, okay. You open up the page. And this is how you know you're in, you're in for a chapter. When you open up a page and you see Onigashima from the outside and Kaido with what appears to be Black Maria. Now I think this is Maria simply because of her of her height and her her, her hairstyle. You feel me? Hey, Black Maria. Oh, there it is. Black Maria, what happened to your mission? Oh, what's the harm, Supreme Commander? They can handle the search just fine without me. I'd rather be here. And Kaido's like, yeah, I mean, I'm glad you're here. Whoa, no, 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 no. See, even Kaido believes in in that Zoro video I just made. Very well, it's our <laughs> it's our one chance, a year to party and mingle, isn't that right, Orochi? The best day of the year. Goo hoo hoo hoo! Indeed, Kaido. It is especially worth celebrating because at long last the ghosts of Kozuki that has haunted me for twenty years are gone. Or about that man, your boy had to get some good old quality H two O. Because this man Orochi stated, the ghosts of Kozuki that have haunted me for 20 years are gone. But little does he know that the goat with a coat is on the way to prove that the only way that you can really put away ghosts is by putting them right back in the grave where they came from as he did in Through the Bark. That's the only way. You feel me? That's the only possible way. Uh, that or you call the Ghostbusters. Or maybe Danny Phantom. One of them will take care of the situation. But most certainly the king. You feel me? So Luffy's coming in definitely as, with the rest of the lines. Um, uh, I can't wait to see Orochi's face whenever he sees that they're actually still alive. Uh, that's going to be probably one of the best shocked faces in the entire series. Uh, classic Oda shocked faces in the entire series. Um, but going to Kaido too. This man is out here. I mean, celebrating to the highest. And when I see something like this, it, it really fascinates me because, like, Kaido can be so carefree because for so long, everything that he says goes. And, you know, 
after Orochi telling him, like, yo, everybody's been taken out. Who cares? Like, let's go and celebrate. So he's here with, with, with Maria, and he's like, yeah, yo, yo let's get it going. It's, it's a chance to party, man. You feel me? I just got finished uh, playing some FF7, you know? I finished getting whooped by Cloud. He was like, you know what? I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to take it easy, and we're going to party a little bit, man. Let's go to the next page. Soon Conjurer will arrive now that his 20-year acting role is finished. He should be with the captains of the battleships that sank the Akazaya Samurai under the waves. That's very impressive, and I could have easily killed him without realizing it. It's too bad, though. If a man who was so utterly trusted claims that Odin never told him anything, then it would seem that he gave no hints to his samurai about getting to Laugh Tale. Laugh Tale name drop mid-chapter by Kaido? Laugh tail name drop, ladies and gentlemen. I know this is something, it's already been stated multiple times, but still actually seeing that name within the confines of the manga, within the text, within the text in the manga, man, that's, that's something, bro. If a man who was so utterly trusted and claims that Odin never told him anything, then it would seem that he gave no hints to his samurai about getting to laugh tail. And it makes you think, right, it's like, man, not only Kaido must be feeling this way, but a lot of other people who have some sort of connection to a person who's related to Roger, or has a connection to Roger, like a Shinx, or a Buggy, or a Rayleigh, or uh, any of those characters. Like, if you have a connection to those characters, this is a question that would come up in your brain. Like, man, don't you know how to get to that place? Don't you know how to get to the place that no one else has been able to go except for y'all? Laugh tale? And I only say that because they don't—they wouldn't have the knowledge that Shanks and Buggy never actually got to make it over there. But anyone associated with Roger, they assume like, "Yo, y'all made it to Laugh Tale too." Laugh Tale, man. Eek! Who are you? And here we see Conjuro, with Momonosuke in hand. Pardon the disturbance. I have business with Lord Orochi. Ah, oh, there you are, Conjuro. Stop it, you fools! This is Orochi's man. It has been a very long time since we last met Lord Orochi. This mansion is so large, I got a bit lost. Shogun Orochi spy, Kurozumi Kanjuro. And yo, look at the way he's manhandling Momonosuke here. Everyone who took me for an enemy and attacked, made an untimely end of my weapon, my apologies. Hey, what's that in your other hand? As you requested, it is Kozuki Momonosuke, the son of Odin. He cut his ropes and attempted to escape along the way, so I had to pacify him. Don't worry, the boy still breathes. You see the Kaido, you know... Stay silent, and I love this shot, man. You see, I don't know what Kaido's thinking here, but having the context of, of what's been going down lately really has me thinking, right? A lot about Kaido, about his past, about what family means to him and whatnot because of his situation with his son Yamato. You know, I've been thinking about how that's going to come to affect Kaido's character, uh, from here on out and see if it has any type of effect on his character especially after the speech that Momonosuke gave Kaido whenever he was you know holding up in the choke slam position all the way on top of of the castle and then of course what happened with 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 uh, Momonosuke and um and Odin last time where he had that that victory that he did not really, you know, he, he wasn't able to, to taste a true victory because um, one of the old individuals who was associated with uh, with Orochi, um, you know, disguised himself as, as Monosuke. And so Kaido, when Kaido found out about that, he immediately executed that person. And it makes me think, right, like, while Kaido sees Kanjiro holding Monosuke here, or is he thinking about that type of stuff? Like, do I really want to capture this man? Do I really want to capture Momonosuke? Because if I capture Momonosuke on the off chance that these guys aren't wiped out, I want to have a good 1v1 or just a good fight in general without having to worry about, without having to rely on a hostage, you know? So I wonder what's going through Kaido's mind right here as you see those dot, dot, dots indicating that he's currently going through some thought. But that's definitely the two things going through my mind right now. Uh, and well, three things I just say. Momonosuke's speech, because we see the Momonosuke got pummeled right here, man. You know, his face is very swollen. So, the fact that uh, Kaido's probably thinking about Momonosuke's speech, he's thinking about the the the, the OG battle with Odin, um, when he had that un that unfair advantage, and then of course, 
his son. Like with, now that he has his own child, uh, or I should maybe, I don't know if he had his child back then, but I'm going to assume he probably did based on ages. But well, then again, it has been a long time since then. But regardless, uh, his he's probably could be thinking about his son now. You know, it has been a very long time since he's since he's seen Monosuke. Um, so this is very interesting here. Let's continue. You did that to the heir of Kozuki, the clan that was your so-called patron? Mwahahaha, a man without blood in his veins. Now that my role is over, here's merely some child to me. I'm stunned. I do remember you. You were one of the Akazaya Nine. And I remember you very well. There it is, the choke slam. Your father is a fool of a lord. You look exactly the way you did when I was disappointed in you as the son of Odin. Yes, he is nothing but a little brat. A brat entirely unfitted for the greatness of his name. And I can't wait for that moment later on in the arc where Mom Mom Momonosuke is going to have his inevitable shogun moment. His inevitable, you know, speech, promo, ace moment. And uh, for my Kingdom fans, uh, excuse me, my Kingdom fans out there, he's going to have that moment of legend, man. I can promise you that, coach. And I can't wait to see how Kaido's going to react to it because it has been a slow process from Punk Hazard up until now of Luffy trying to beat that into his in, into his system of like, yo, have some pride, man. You know, take full responsibility for who you are. Don't run away from it. Be true to exactly who you are and carry upon it from then on, man. So, and, it's, and since we saw that in Udon, where Momonosuke uh, came out there and delivered that promo, I can't wait to see if he does something like that. And he has to. He absolutely has to with this arc. Oh, the poor little boy. You've, been, you've beaten him bloody. Well done, my good man. Let us raise a toast to Kondro. No, Lord Orochi. You failed to stop their operation? They know now. But that was your information. I'm sorry, my lord. I've been around Kinemon for many years. But I've never known him to be so thorough. So their fleet is coming here to Onikashima? They know. <laughs> they know! There is no reason yet to fear Shogun Orochi. Fu Fukuro Kuju. There is not a single ship to be seen at the dock. But the trio of battleships we sent out have not yet, have not yet returned. And four pirates have been sighted on the performance floor outside. And you see Luffy, Zoro, Kid, and Killer. Straw Hat Luffy, Pirate Hunter Zoro, Eustace Captain Kid, and Murder Machine Killer. Oh my, it's quite likely that all the members of these pirate crews have already disembarked upon the island. Why didn't you report that? Master Queen was handling the situation. I thought I'd better not, I thought I'd better not to disturb the feast. There are no witness reports of suspicious samurai around. In any case, our entire concentrated, our entire concentrated might is present here in Onigashima. There, nothing can possibly happen here that will put us in danger. That's right, drink up, Oroji. Let me pour it, my lord. Orochi's sweating, dude. Look at this man. He's shaking. He's like flag darts. No, I don't want to hear reassurances and platitudes. I want to report that the samurai are good and dead. Luffy's here on the island. Find a way to survive. We'll go and rescue. And Momonosuke, he has like that that bit of, of hope. Like, yo, Luffy actually managed to make it here. But not everyone else. No ships. Kinemon, is, is everyone else all right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Because he only really heard that Luffy, Zoro, Kid, and, and Killer are here. You know, he didn't hear any sightings of Kinemon and whatnot. Little does he know that Kinemon's right in front of Big Mom right now. Give me Monosuke Black Maria. That's right, I mustn't forget this is the enemy leader. Arrange a crucifixion stand on the stage. I will kill the last surviving Kozuki here and bring their history to its miserable end. And this whole ordeal is behind me. Goo hoo hoo ha 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 ha. So he's planning a public execution. Yo, this man Luffy better pop up in the middle of this public execution and conquer his hockey every person there, dude. You feel me? At sea near Onigashima. Is that you, Cat? You're late. Did you get just? Did you just get here? Cat, <laughs> Nekobushi. Yeah, if we just climb the falls, morale. Do you have any idea what date and time it is? The night of the fire festival, the big battle. Just in time for the action, right? That that will depend on you, Yugata. You see, the Inarashi is the one talking to him. Uh, here are we are already heading to the northmost point of Onigashima. Gotcha, see you there. No, wait, hey, cat! We see everybody right here. Looks like he hasn't changed. I just hope he arrived in time. Kappa, pa, pa, pa. I suppose Kitty must have grown up just like Doggy has. They better go top speed because we're nearly at the back door. 
Because of the twisting currents, a typical ship can only approach the island from the entrance. Let's hope that Kenimon and Denjiro have made their way around to the rear as planned. I wish for us all to be there, so we can fulfill Lord Odin's desire together. Just please be safe until then, Lord Momonosuke. And I love how, you know, I've seen a lot of comments, we've discussed it here on the channel, I've discussed it with people uh, off air on um, the death flags and the amount of times that they said, you know, we all have to make it, we all have to be there together, whatnot, right here, we see that again with the all, all bold. And, um, and it really just makes you think, you know, what does Oda really have planned here in Onigashima for these characters? Because we know that he's going to put them through trial and flagnards. They're, they're, they're going to go through it in this saga, right? Whenever whenever the battle starts kicking off and everyone's going up in like Swimwar, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be madness. And so I'm wondering, what does he have in store for them? And how many of them are actually going to survive? And um, will they all survive? Will only half survive? Will, they, will none of them survive? You know, in terms of, of the original Akazaya 9, aside from Momonosuke. You know, Momonosuke and, and Odin's retainers. Who out of Odin's retainers is still going to live to see the day? You know, right? To see, to see the next day. So I'm very curious. Everyone sounds good to me. In the middle, they're in the middle of the raid. So they call that separate little island, that separate little island Onigashima now. Look at my boy Marco. So go figure that we showed up at the same time. What was the point of me asking you to send a message to Stride Luffy then? Watch out, they made it here at the exact same time? Rum, rum, rum. No kidding, guess I'll toss out this note then. So he was going to pass on the message, but he never got an opportunity to because they made it, uh, because they made it at the same time? That's very strange. You mean the guy who wrecked up Zo was just an officer? We're in, it, we're in for a big fight. I'm surprised you got involved, Marco. Look, I love Odin, but word from Wano doesn't travel out of the country. I never thought things had gotten this bad. Then let's hurry, I got a genius plan in mind. Yo, the note said I might be late, but I'll be there. <laughs> My boy Marco said, yo, Luffy, King, don't worry about it. I got you, coach. I might be a little late, but I'll be there. Dude, can you imagine? Like, have, have we seen that note? But, dude, I'll take, I'll take Marco showing up any day of the week, man. But that's awesome that that's what the note was. You know? That's awesome, Sauce. Team Denjiro Southern Forces. And right here we see Sasaki. Kyoshiro, what gives? I heard you weren't coming this year. Yes, keep it a secret. Well, ha ha, you snuck in. What happened to your fancy pompadour? I wouldn't have expected you to slip out of the feast either. Oh, yeah. It's Kaido's kid. He's gone missing. Couldn't have left the island, though. Got all the boys looking for him. Here, too, a, a gate not found in the mansion plans blocked away. But it was an easy obstacle for Kyoshiro the Yakuza to slip past. Kyoshiro the Yakuza, man. The mad. Huh? What are you doing, Kyoshiro? What's the meaning of this? Gag him while you're at it. Yes, sir! And he goes forward. Do you know much about Wano's history, Sasaki? Do you know much about Wano's history, Sasaki? Yo, yeah, my man's is about to drop some heat on this man, Sasaki, dude. Go inside the dome from here. With one of the dangerous Toburopo out of the way, the southern forces split in two like the eastern to bring themselves closer to Kaido. Assault team and the dome infiltration team. Yo, so Kyoshiro right here is in front of this man, Sasaki, ready to deliver some... He, I'm going to assume we're not going to learn exactly what he's going to say to him. But the fact that Sasaki is now chained up, he has to now listen to what Denjiro is going to tell him. Right? He has to listen. So if Denjiro actually starts talking to, to Sasaki, I wonder if that would like shift Sasaki over in our favor. Either that or that was just meant to be this beast form of like, yeah... I'm actually a member of the Akazaya. You know, I'm, I'm actually a member of Odin's, uh, of, of Odin's gang, you know? So the fact that he, he tied up Sasaki here, Sasaki now won't be able to go make it to Yamato, at least he breaks it out of this thing, and I highly doubt, <coughs> my apologies, and I highly doubt it's gonna be the case. So now that Denjiro has Sasaki imprisoned, how is it going to change the overall dynamic of what's going on here? Because I originally thought that the person who was going to go out and find Yamato was going to be either Sasaki or Who's Who. So are they telling me that now Who's Who is going to be the one 
that is gonna run into uh into Yamato. But yo, this scene right here is so awesome to me, bro. This man Kyoshiro the mad Denjiro. Man, took off the jacket, flexed the tattoo a little bit, was like, yo, do you know much about Wano's history, dog? What do you know, son? Goaded. Let's go. With one of the dangerous topi robots all the way. And now with the southern forces split in two, they bring themselves closer to Kaido. And here we go. Meanwhile, Team Kinemon and Eastern forces. Oh, God. Direct hit. And there's Big Mom, bro. And you cap and over your captain to me right now, Strat Crew. And you see Big Mommy immediately run over toward Chopper and Usopp. And they're both like, ah! In classic Chopper and Usopp fashion, they fled in terror but made sure to do it in the opposite direction. We are in your debt, Sir, Sir Usopp and Sir Chopper. They put Usopp and Chopper as the, uh... As the bait? Usopp and Chopper? I mean, listen to me, dog. This is going to be a moment that we're never forget that we're never gonna forget in the story. Because Usopp and Chopper are going to have to lead Big Mom out of here in the complete opposite direction of what they're saying from the rest of the army. Which means eventually this thing is gonna have to stop. And Chopper and Usopp are gonna have to come face to face with a Yonko. Do y'all know how amazing that's gonna be? I mean, however it is, if they get an awesome moment, or if it can, if it, if it continues to be comedy gold, I'll take it. Or a combination of the two. You feel me? So now there's confirmation that it's gonna be Big Mom with Usopp and Chopper. That's gonna make me very, very excited to see interactions from here on out, because that's gonna cost for absolutely hilarious stuff. Usopp and Chopper, but also the potential for an extremely beast moment to happen between the two. You know, if they were to somehow manage to hold off Big Mama Yonko together, that would be awesome sauce, man. So Kinemon and Shishilin and the rest, they go off in here. Usopp, Chopper, I hope they're okay. And yeah, we see that actually everybody else did stay behind here. And here we see um, uh, Nami with, with Carrot. Chobro, oh well, that's that was Big Mom. Exactly, what are we supposed to do? I found you, and you're here, yo! <laughs> this man, Prometheus, opened the door. Like, yo, they were playing Resident Evil 2. I mean, man's open, or I should say three with Nemesis. I mean, dude, open the door. No, 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 it's gotta be two with Mr. X. Dude, opened the door, peeked out his head like Mr. X, and just kept going. My boy was here, yeah, Prometheus said, I'm here. <gasps> And here we see the Nami uh, immediately uh, um, uh, flipping Napoleon starts like, yo, relax out here, dog. You feel me? It was, or not, not, not Napoleon, Zeus. Zeus. So here we see it's the woman who kidnapped Zeus. Mama. And you see the immediately Nami's like, flag darts. So now Nami's going to have to be face to face with Prometheus here. But now I'm guaranteed she's gonna have to utilize Zeus. Either that or they're just gonna run. But I highly doubt that. Can you imagine Nami utilizing both Prometheus and Zeus while Big Mom is out chasing after Usopp and Chopper? And Nami comes back into the war wielding both Prometheus and Zeus, dude? I'd be losing my mind. As a Nami fan, I, yo, if she comes up in like swimming, who's, who's messing with Nami? I don't care who is on this island that is... You know, would be one of her, uh, one of the individuals that she would face. You know, I don't care who it is. Prometheus and Zeus, and they're listening to Nami? She's gonna be raining down the fire, dude. And I'm talking about against multiple individuals or against a uh, no, one on one. With both of them? I hope that, that that's where we're going. And that's just a Nami fan in me talking. You know, that that would be awesome sauce. But then I wonder, where does that leave Big Mom? You feel me? Because Nami can definitely, we already saw the way that she tamed Zeus, she can definitely tame Prometheus as well. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll find out. Inside Kaido's castle. You can do a pay pay. Oh, that's gonna be ulti with that, um, that speech. Oh yeah, it is ulti, I see right here. You can do a pay pay. You can, oh, I'm, I'm so tired. Don't tag along with me, search somewhere else. Are you telling me what to do? Oh, my stars. I just can't go on. Pay pay, I'm ever so tired. That's not my problem, stop running then. You're supposed to offer to carry me. Don't drag me down. Here we, we see uh, Ulti and page one. Animal Kingdom Pirates Toby Robo. 
and they're both. I, I I can't get over how awesome Page One's design is in this thing. He really reminds me of uh, of dude from Hunter x Hunter. Um, his name slips my mind at this moment. Like I said, my brain is fried because of uh, of of how hot it was outside. Uh, but definitely from dude from Hunter x Hunter. Let me see, Luffy, the king. Is it Ulti in Page One? The king in front of Ulti. Hold on, bro. No, not, in, not only in front of Ulti. In front of Ulti and Page One. Who are you? Nah. Who are you? It's like, who are you talking to? Nah, you're the president of the king. The goat with a coat. The MC. The fifth emperor of the seas. The PK. Come on, coach. Yo, this look that Luffy gave her, like, who are you talking to? Who do you think you talking to, dog? So Ulti popped up in front of the king with page one here. So now, if they're still in, in that same area, that same vicinity, now two of the Toby Robo are in front of them. So what is that going to mean? Are they about to engage in combat with Ulti and page one? Or is it, it going to like go haywire from here? Because at this point, I have no idea. No idea. Big Mom's chasing Usopp and Chopper. Prometheus is, is right now um, uh, taking on Nami with 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 with, uh, with Carrot and with Shinobu, right? So, and uh, you you have that going on. You have the fact that Denjiro locked up this man Sasaki, who's who, is is on the search for Yamato right now. We have no idea where where, where the rest of them are. Or I should say, X Drake is, uh, because we know where, where 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 Maria is. Maria's over there with Kaido. So with the Toby Robo, they're chilling. You know, they're chilling. They're they're doing their thing. But it looks like the 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 two who were main compo or contenders to go out and catch Yamato uh, were who's who and Sasaki, because we had no idea what X Drake is up to. I'm going to assume X Drake as well. So, so those three, right? So it just makes you think, like, what now? Because if Ulti and Page One are in front of Luffy now, where's this gonna take this? Like, it kind of makes me think. It's kind of like Oda's wanting us to believe, or trying to trick us into believing, that Ulti and Page One are gonna engage in combat with Luffy and them. But what about if that's not the case? What about if something happens here with Ulti and Page One? Because there had to have been some reason why Page One was not taken out of the battle, or was not taken out of this arc after Sanji pwned him, right? So, what happens now with Ulti and and, uh, and Page One? Uh, Maria, I'm going to assume, is going to stay with Kaido over there, just chilling. Who's who is chasing after uh, Yamato? Sasaki's under Denjiro. So only X Drake is out there re that can really X Drake and Who's Who are the ones that can really go out there and, and find Yamato. So what happens now here with Ulti and and Page One? Is it combat or is it conversation? Do we find out some information here? What's gonna happen, man? I'm genuinely interested. Like I want to see what's going to take place. Because of how hilarious uh, Ulti is, so the way her, with her dialect and whatnot, and her diction, I do wonder how this conversation is about to go. Because there's going to be some trolling. There, there's 100% uh, going to be some trolling. But I, I'm very curious on seeing where this situation right here in particular goes. So you have Kaido and them now officially know that the that Luffy is here. That Luffy kid, killer and kid. I'm sorry, that Luffy, Zoro, Killer, and Kid. I'm telling you, man, my brain is fried. The Luffy, Kid, uh, Zoro, and Killer are, are here. But they don't know about everyone else. So I wonder how that's going to impact everything because even though they don't really care, you know, Kaido's like, who gives a flying flag? You know, they, they, they ain't going to stop me. So he continues partying and whatnot. And then apparently they're, 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 they're going to want to hold a public execution for Momonosuke. So let's see how that goes over. And what kind of epic situation comes out of that. And then Law and them are about to make it over there to the other entrance. Marco and Nekomushi are, are on the way. And I love that note with Marco. Like, yo, 
I'm gonna be late, but I'll be there. You know what I'm saying? That was that was goat. Um, and then of course, situation with Big Mom. The, the Big Mom situation really, really interests me because what if Big Mom never, or I'm not gonna say never, but makes it back really, really late because of Usopp and Chopper. Right, let's just say that Big Mom, while chasing after Usopp and Chopper, because Big Mom is on a rampage, what if she does end up destroying, what about if Usopp and Chopper make it towards Onigashima, right? And while Big Mom is chasing after Usopp and Chopper, she's in her, losing her mind or whatever, she starts taking out some of Kaido's crew members. Like, yo, some, you get pwned, you get pwned, you get pwned. Mugiwara! You know, she goes on and, and, and trying to find... Um, and trying to get to Usopp and Chopper, she very well could, if if they go in the right direction, she could end up taking out some of Kaido's men along the way, which would be a massive help to the side. And I think that's where Oda's going with this, because they're going to have to eventually meet up together. We're going to have to get that panel, a double spread of Kaido and Big Mom side by side, you know, with that truly, like, that fear-inducing insanity coming, you know, the hockey uh, emanating from, from both of them, right? So I'm very, very curious. I'm curious on how it's going to go. And I'm curious on where Oda's going to take it. But it's very exciting. It's very exciting. I'm, I'm cur uh, very excited to see the Prometheus stuff. If Nami does actually end up getting Prometheus now. And uh, what's going to happen here with Ulti? With Ulti and Page One. Because now that I see Page One here as well, it takes me back to Sanji. And how and the decision that Oda took on not eliminating Page One the first time. Which would probably mean that he has bigger plans for him. But is it really for another opponent? Or is it for another aspect of this arc? Perhaps an ally? To gain some information? Or specifically here for this Toby Robo plot? Because this Toby Robo plot is going in a completely different direction than I was expecting. Especially with Denjiro having this man locked up, right? Another chapter where so many things, um, or so many different situations happening at once, you know, moving the plot forward in so many different locations. And there's no break next week. I'm interested though, man. Very, very interested. Because there's just so many different possibilities on where it can go before everything pops off. Because now it's not going to be just straightforward, right? There's just a lot of elements added. Like, there's a lot of elements here that could work in our favor. Especially with the, what's going on with the Toby Robo. Because they just, they just don't care. And Kaido's way too lax. It's like, if they're not on high alert, no one's going to be on high alert. Luffy can run shop as much as he wants. I'll see y'all next time, man. Have an awesome day. One piece greatness. I apologize once again, man. My, my, like I said, my, my brain is fried. Um, so bear with me the, this week, man. Because, yeah, it was... When I tell y'all, I felt like Dio out there. I felt like Dio, man. <laughs> the legendary Brando himself. But, dude, looking forward to the next one. And seeing where these points all go. Because like I said as, as well with the Usopp and Chopper with Big Mom thing, I really do believe that it'll be an awesome comedic moment if Usopp and Chopper were to lead Big Mom all the way back to Onigashima and just have a rampaging Big Mom, or to like the side of Onigashima where Kaido and his men are, a rampaging Big Mom just caring about get, taking out the straw hats just takes out a bunch of Kaido's crew on, uh, in, on her path, right? Her path of destruction. It, it kind of looks like that that's going to be the case now. It really does. So let's see where this all takes us and where, what is going to be that one singular point where everything's going to pop off. Is it going to be during Momonosuke's execution? You know, because I'm going to assume that now Momonosuke's execution is going to be where they give that speech and all that stuff. Maybe where Yamato shows up as well. Like, it's probably going to be that particular, that one singular point where everything's just going to meet and everything's going to pop off. So let's see what happens from here, man. I'll see you in the comment section. Have an awesome day. One Piece greatness. Man, dude. Onigashima, baby. Let's get it.